Hello, my name is Alejandro Pinoy, and in my presentation, I'm going to address this classical controversy regarding suppression laser, which is if we should or not treat the phobia or through the phobia. Should we go to the phobia? Well, this is a very interesting question because to answer it, we need to address one of the key concepts of understanding suppression laser, how it works, which is by the numbers. You know, the answer to suppression laser is very subtle. Single RPE cell will not do much. You need to recruit a lot of RPE cells in order that their combined response to laser is clinically significant. It means treating large areas in order to, as I mentioned earlier, recruit a large enough number of cells. And this is where we get our answer to this controversy. We can treat transphobia. We definitely can. There is evidence about it. Proper power, proper knowledge. You can treat transphobia safely. However, we do not need to. We can spare ourselves and our patients from transphobia laser. Why is that? Because of the numbers. Look at this example. We have this temporal macular edema in the context of, di of diabetes marked by this heart agitation. Heart agitation. We know that we would require to treat a large surface area to achieve a good result, something more or less like this. Every dot representing a 160 micron laser spot. Here you have about 300 spots that encompass all the edematous area with a little more of margins. And in this treatment proposal, I'm showing you the phobia is being spared from treatment. In order to treat the phobia, we should add these few extra spots. Now, do you believe we are going to obtain a significantly different response if we treat like this instead of this? Well, most likely not. It's not going to be this few spots, this very small surface area that's going to mean the difference. So we can spare the phobia on treat. And we can and we will still obtain nice results as long as we treat properly, of course, which is the key of every surgical maneuver. So in conclusion, as long as we perform a proper treatment, which means large enough surface area, proper power, ideally individually titrated, and of course, pro a proper case selection, there's simply no need to treat through the phobia. I go at it again. If you're an expert laser practitioner, is you if you have hundreds of cases without any side effects, you can you can spare yourselves from thinking about the phobia and just treat through it. But if you are beginning with the laser, if you want an extra layer of safety, rest assured, you do not need to laser through the phobia in order to obtain good enough results. Thank you.